What's poppin', y'all? This is Deidre with One Shot Game, man. You already know how the motto go. You get one shot at life, but a lifetime to learn all the game you need to succeed. And, and the reason, you know what I'm saying, I use that motto is because through all my years of living, I have learned so many things from a lot of people. But I think, you know, as you're born and you're only taught one way to live you attract those same people to you that only live in that one spot it is not until you are able to venture off and learn something from other people that you're able to grow to a different experience uh, a system of understanding different knowledge and breaking out of the illusion you know what I'm saying because half of the time what we want and desire is is shown on these phones or on tv but not in our immediate circle so we tend to think that that's not possible you know what i'm saying and you know they say oh don't really live an experience don't keep talking about it but again me going to prison i've seen a lot of successful black women you know what I'm saying? That was trying to give us the game as inmates and tools to be able to expand out of the mental box we've been put in and know our worth and know that we can grow. You know what I'm saying? We don't have to stay confined to all we know. You know what I'm saying? And when you go to a place like that, you are uh, surrounded by a ton of energies, a ton of people with different experiences about life that helps you take in maybe something that you was blind to or you didn't know. You know what I'm saying? So that's my motto and I'm sticking to it because I believe and understand and I think a lot of people can vibe with me that the only way you can truly grow is you have to get outside of your comfort zone. You have to get outside of the mental box that you've been programmed to stay in. If you don't, you will be stuck thinking that that is all there is to life. And as much as you know what I'm saying? People can act like they don't know what I'm talking about. It is a lot of people in this day and age right now who are stuck and confined to the illusion and the boxes that they've been stuck in. And they want to try so hard to break out mentally, but they're blocked from learning anything other than what they think they know. So they just wake up every day living life as normal until you see the mask fall off and you realize they are in a mental institution inside their brain. And I'm only speaking from experience. I've been there. Y'all don't understand. I was in a mental maximum security institution because I was trapped inside my brain. I really thought that Everything I thought I knew was what life was. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I had an open mind to thinking it was something new and different out there, but I was comfortable where I was. So my ability to want to know something else and be something else wasn't that strong because I was comfortable where I was. You know what I'm saying? And that kept me confined to being limited to thinking the illusionary box I was in was all there was to my life. And deep down inside, in my head, I was hurting. When, you know what I'm saying? The people are taken away or you have traumatic situations happen to you. Like, you can either break out of that box or you're gonna get a, a deeper in back black hole in that imaginary box, which means it's gonna be very harder for you to come out because now you all the way at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? It's different levels to it. People might not understand or want to identify because I'm just one person speaking my experience on growth and how it is, you know what I'm saying, to grow and change your mindset on things. I've been seeing a lot of people on these social media things talking about you can grow out your city and blah, 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 and you're not going to grow if you're still in your city because people still got you trapped in the 15, 16 year old. You listen. So what? <laughs> so what? That is them. That's not you. As long as you keep growing inside yourself and you realize who you are, you know what I'm saying? You will understand that 
it's 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 not to be so self-centered but also to help as well you know what i'm saying i know the city that i'm in like the back of my hand why would i go somewhere else you know what i'm saying to grow because then people don't know me you know what i'm saying and looking for validation somewhere else other than the city that i grew up in that i've navigated on my own and i've made choices without the acknowledgement of others i didn't care what nobody else thought of me you know what i'm saying and i survived and i made it to the other side you know what i'm saying growing and elevating in your soul does not matter where you're at or what you're doing if you're looking for you know what i'm saying the big success story the money you you feel me the the glamour you your thought is going to be, oh, I got to get out and go into another state because the people here still look at me as the 15, 16 year old DJ. I don't give a fuck. Excuse my language. If you still look at me as that person, me knowing who I am, I am not her. You know what I'm saying? And as long as I know that, how can I stop myself from growing? I can't. You know what I'm saying? And it's all about self identity within oneself, it's all about understanding who you are in yourself. To understand that other people's thoughts and opinions of you don't even matter. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? Unless you're looking for the love, the validation, the glory. I'm not looking for none of that. Because I've never had it in the first place. Nobody ever gave me a clap on the back. Nobody ever clapped for me. Nobody ever said, hey, good job. You're doing no. I never got it to begin with. So at the end of the day, I'm not looking for that from these people that I surround myself with. All I'm asking for, you know what I'm saying, is mutual understanding and mutual respect. Because your journey is your journey and my journey is my journey. You got to understand a lot of people are either real life, you know what I'm saying, portraying to be somebody they not. So they got to hurry up and run from the city where they did all they dirt in. You know what I'm saying? Get the validation from other people from another city because they their, their past is too sketchy and rocky. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I am not perfect and I never claim to be, you know what I'm saying? But I'm so content with who I am and I'm not looking for any validation, praise, money, success, none of that, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm cool, you know what I'm saying? It is the idea of being able to open other people's souls and hearts to true love and loving a person for who they are, like, I'm just one person, so that's just something that I have in mind. Is it going to necessarily happen? Who knows? But the idea of people, you know what I'm saying, coming together to support each other because of who they are and not because of what they have and the status they have in life would be such a lovely idea. I would take that over anything material any day because I cannot die and take those things with me to in a casket. I cannot take the new Gucci belt, the new iPhone, I, I, the new car. I can't take none of that in a casket with me. If something was to happen today, none of that shit would even matter. You know what I'm saying? But for a lot of people to feel like they are who they are, they need those things. I'm perfectly content just being Deidre. The, the type of person that I am and how I love people for who they are, that's going to stand the test of time and it's going to speak volumes and it's going to stay with me to the day i pass away and people get on that stand and start to talk about me my spirit will forever live on and that is priceless you can't put a price on that that don't cost no money you know what i'm saying it's just who i am you know what i'm saying and me being from sacramento you know what i'm saying and living out here my whole life Social media can have you having an image and an idea about yourself as well as the outside life. So you really got to work on yourself and know what has been stopping you from growing. Not other people, not social media like you. And once you figure that out, like there is no boundaries to what you can do. There's no boundaries to who you can become. When you put a limit on yourself, it's because, you know what I'm saying, you, you need something from somebody to feel validated. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm just not looking for that. Like, I don't really care about it. If it comes, it comes. If it don't, it don't. To have the mental peace in my mind is the greatest gift of all. Because just because I was smiling in people's faces, you know what I'm saying, 
making it seem like everything was cool in everybody's face. I, in the mental prison in my mind was horrible. I was locked up for a very long time with a straitjacket on and I couldn't get out. The nearest exit was nowhere. That's a bad place to live. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what nobody thinks. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes it lives with you. I don't care what you have or how much you've grown in life. That mental mind state can live with you for a long time. You know what I'm saying? But again, I think people are having a hard time understanding that the world is shifting and it is shifting to your energetic frequency. Meaning if you're not content inside yourself, things are going to happen in your life that's not going to make you happy. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to show. There's only so much covering you can do before it shows. And if you're truly mentally energetically content inside your life mind body and soul what do you have to trip off of what are you worried about you know what i'm saying like if anybody knows life is chess it's not checkers so you got to be smart if you're not smart and aware then you know what i'm saying things can happen and to each his own you know but again a, a very good idol of mine would be nipsey hustle now him being able to believe in himself enough to create a, a, a social standing of wanting to give back to his community without understanding that everybody can't go and some people will be jealous of you. He decided to go out to his community without security. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you look at Kendrick with the number one record in the world right now, you know what I'm saying? He did a video in his hometown, but he paid police officers and security to make sure nothing happens to him. Like, you just got to be smart, you know what I'm saying? Because if you just be fearless and you don't think nothing can happen to you, it's kind of like you just got to be aware that everybody don't think like that. Everybody is not in a peaceful mind state of understanding, okay, this person is doing something good for the community. Some people are thinking like, I don't give a damn what they doing for the community. They ahead of me. And why I ain't got what they got? That's just life. You just got to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? But it's called being smart. You know what I'm saying? This life is called playing chess, baby. And the reason, you know what I'm saying, people get further ahead in life is because they are mindful of the moves they made and the consequences and the outcome that came with them. And they either chose to keep moving that way because they're trying to defeat whatever they're trying to defeat for their own gain or they chose to appropriately do different actions and move differently no personal gain needed but to understand that they want to make their life peaceful and go in the direction they wanted to go you're gonna have to make that change before you not for nobody else but you you know what i'm saying and everybody don't be capable but for my personal journey as well as I hope you guys look at your own personal journey when you wake up every day and certain actions that you take and things that you go after you know what I'm saying are they in the best you know what I'm saying mental space for you like are you truly happy you know what I'm saying because if you're not you're gonna have to rearrange some things or they will be rearranged for you period point blank you know what I'm saying? It's the one life that you get. And it's only one. And I'm telling you, man, once you start getting like 18, 21, time just be flying by. I just turned 36 a couple weeks ago. And I'm telling you, at the 16-year-old the me never thought I would be 36 right now. I couldn't see myself being 36, but I'm here. <laughs> you feel me? It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So it's 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 kind of like you know, be be very mindful, and and understanding that as long as you're learning and you're growing for yourself and nobody else, you can put yourself in a position to win. Anything that's obtained is first experienced in the spirit before it gets in the physical. You know what I'm saying? If you can't see yourself having it, if you can't see yourself growing, if you can't see yourself you being anything other than what you are, it won't happen. You got to see it first. And that means you have to take off all blocks that's stopping you from being the best 
version you could be of yourself. And everyone deals with it. Everybody goes through it. Nobody is exempt. You know what I'm saying? But it's when you get to that point, what do you do with that power? Do you start to feel like you inferior now? And can't nothing happen to you or break you? But you still hurt, so now you use it to control people? Instead of understanding that I only control myself. You know, showing love to other people due to the human experience being hard is hard for a lot of people. And they, like, subconsciously manipulate people and finesse them and don't even realize that they're doing it. Because their soul is hurt. But on the physical, it doesn't look like that. You know what I'm saying? The human experience is too hard. I wouldn't want nobody to go through nothing I've been through. I wouldn't want none of my homies, none of my partners, you know what I'm saying, none of people I love to actually sit in prison because I really get to see them <laughs> and who they are for and y'all wouldn't make it a day, let alone an hour. And and before y'all think y'all finna start cussing people out and getting mad, there ain't no time for none of that. You gonna sit your ass down for a little while and get your mind together, not your physical. Don't got nothing to do with that. It's this right here. You know what I'm saying? And that be the toughest part. Like, that be the hardest part for people to get and understand. You know what I'm saying? And if I could just tell anybody anything, I hope people would understand that it's getting real out here. And you're either going to get your mind right or you're going to get your mind right. And, and, it's only so many things you can keep letting slip before you explode. And the consequences of that explosion is going to hurt who? Man, if you don't know what it is, I just told you. Please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe because it's a new world order 